What is up guys, Noli here and welcome to Mask of the Day episode 170. In today's episode we are going to take a look at a mask sent to me by Jacob Schneider and I've got a little bit of explaining to do as to where I went this weekend. So let's look at the mask first of all, it is of course the Arnold and it is the Alpha Arnold. We have the carapace material, the pattern of choice is the anarchy and finally the colour is black and red. Now if you're not a fan of this design like I was, Take a look at my other options, seeing as how it's a DLC mask, I thought I may as well use some DLC materials. So we have the Nano Weave and the Circuit Board as your other options, alongside the Cracker Pattern, and finally, the colour is Solid Black. So that's it for the mask, but I've got an awful lot more to explain to you guys as far as my disappearance is concerned. But first of all, let's talk about what I did before I disappeared. That was the last video I uploaded, the Archive Bank Heist Tutorial. I was really proud of that video and I was really happy with it when I released it and I got some great constructive criticism on it. Uh, I agree with all of it. I feel like maybe if I had a little more time and I wasn't trying to get it out before I left, it might have been slightly better uh, and slightly more precise in my information. Uh, but the other issue was I was trying to keep it of a reasonable length, but, but in the future I'll be a little less cautious with, with that and make sure it is as thorough as I can make it. So on top of that, why did I disappear? Well I actually went down to Oxford with my girlfriend Grace, we went on holiday, uh, I say holiday, she was actually going to a medical course at one of the colleges and I just tagged along for the ride which meant I was alone for 8 hours on one day walking around Oxford which was a bit of an odd experience. Got some really good stories actually from me going into a re restaurant, sitting down and asking for a table for one. Uh, not the sort of thing one wants to do in their life but it was actually quite enjoyable. Um, so that's where I went. Now, what did that mean? Well, it meant there was no Q&A video, I didn't play with you guys, um, and I was, that was really idiotic of me to say, to, to plan ahead like that and then suddenly have to disappear off. One case in particular, I told, I told one of you that I was going to be online about 9 o'clock Sunday, at the latest. Uh, it turned out I didn't even get back till about 11 on Sunday anyway, so there was nothing I could really do about that. I got my timings all wrong. Uh, and that is why I, I apologize. Now I'm going to just move the Q&A date to a different time. I've, I've already recorded the commentary, I just need the gameplay with you guys. So on top of that we have, um, just before I went on to record this, I'm recording this on Monday and I'll, I'm actually going to upload it on Tuesday uh, when I'm fully ready to get back into things. I got a message saying, why did you disappear? You didn't wait for 10 minutes. Well if I'm recording I will always disappear. That's just because I only have a certain amount of time to record usually and I'd rather not waste it just sitting around for 10 minutes. Now, otherwise, I will always stay on for 10 minutes. Even if no one's talking, uh, I will wait just in case one of you wants to say something or has a mask idea or just an idea for the channel. I'll be really receptive to that so long as I'm not recording. If I'm just going on to play, I don't know, Dark Souls 2 is a good example, a game that I'm really into right now, I'll just go online. You guys can send me a message, um, I won't even go on Dark Souls for 10 minutes and I'll do my best to respond to every single one I get. So sorry, just to clarify, if I'm recording I will still disappear immediately. Next up we have Hit the Hoxton uh, Breakout Heist, what is it, Milestone I would call it, uh, which is great to see. We actually sped up over the weekend as I was assured it would happen. Um, that's huge. That is the biggest reward I would say from all the tiering. Um, and we're actually working our way towards Hoxton as a playable heister, which I also can't wait for. I imagine we'll start seeing these added into the game over the coming days, possibly this coming Thursday. And is that it? No, one final thing. I actually had, I, I don't know, I could be wrong. If any of you sent me a mask involving the fighter or the warrior uh, patterns from the gauge weapon pack number two, let me know. I remember seeing a mask and with those patterns, either of those, I can't remember which, and thinking that looks brilliant. I'd love to feature that on Mask of the Day. I cannot for the life of me find it on Twitter, on YouTube, um, and I have a really terrible feeling I dreamt it. Now if I've started dreaming of masks, I'm in deep. I've lost it and I need someone to pull me out because Mask of the Day is taking over my life. Uh, no, but I, I genuinely swear I saw it somewhere. And again, if you are the man who made this beautiful mask, let me know and I'd love to 
put it on Mask of the Day. Guys, that's a lot for watching Mask of the Day episode 170. I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, content will resume as always these following days. I'm back in the swing. I'll see you all in the next one.